Hi, this is Ash from Migo Experts. We're at Migo Summit Finland, and I'm here with uh, Justin Knoll from ICS. And he's going to tell us a lot of the wonderful stuff that we've we've potentially seen some of it before from the various places, but it's still looking good and it's still got its sparkle. Uh, over to Knoll, uh, Justin. Yeah, so we are back again with the uh, ICS uh, Automotive User Experience Demo. Um, it's got the, uh, the features you may have seen before in other videos. We had this in Dublin and Mobile World Congress. I'll give you a quick run through now. And um, I'll let you know some, some things that you can add to. So basically, um, it is an IBI system that's hooked up to actual hardware. We have AM, FM radios, a fuel injection computer. And um, it's all about a flashy UI. You have all these states and transitions and to go from the different radios, maybe to the dashboard. And it hooks into real automotive equipment, such as this fuel injection computer. And as I change the values, you'll notice that the needles are moving fluidly, they move evenly. And these are all things that are built into the QML language. Um, this was developed very quickly. It's still the same code base that took us a month and a half to develop. And you'll notice that the graphics look extremely good. And this is because um, the design team at ICS was able to do all the graphics in Photoshop and then export them to QML. Um, so immediately, the first day, we had um, the radios and the dashboard looking exactly how the design team uh, wanted them. And states and transitions are built into the language, so all of these effects of you know zooming and shifting is all built into the QML language. Even these bouncy needles um, is just a configuration of a string animation. So um, something that's new is we did a uh, presentation here in uh, in Finland at Tampere at the Migo site. And you can actually go to ICS.com and download the notes from that presentation, which details exactly how we made this application. Starting with the Photoshop files, writing C++ backends, wiring them up, creating animations, and ending up with the source code that's also available on ICS.com. So you can take a look at how this application is really built. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, and obviously you've got a large screen over here. It, that is that just a... Video loop. Uh, just a video loop, just showing the same yeah. uh, same sort of things. But uh, since, since I've had a look at this last time, uh, it does seem... Uh, there's a, seems like a, a lot more polish to it. Obviously you've got the different components uh, and the maps. But what, what's, what's that mapping sort of plugin? Ah, so uh, that was something that wasn't there in Dublin. That's actually OviMap. That is a QML map item that's available in Mobility 1.2. It's a secondary Qt library. And there's a QML map item, and it draws its tiles from OV maps. Okay, nice. And so if you are um, you know, writing an application <laughs> for uh, Nokia hardware um, using Qt and Mobility, um, then you can have basically free mapping. Nice. Um, and obviously, uh, one of the useful words you used there was free. Yes. We, we do like free, and I think a lot of our sort of readers would as well. Uh, so that's Cyrus Radio as well. Yep. So w would that be sort of uh, presuming that is uh, DAB compliant sort of uh, hardware that sort of plugged in? Um, yep, that actually uses a Sirius SCC1, which is a, a unit you place in your car when your head unit is Sirius ready. Um, and it only works in the United States, so I didn't bother bringing the hardware here. Uh, but it does tune the channels, we get all the, um, you know, what's playing on each channel and, you know, all those types of features and okay. change stations. Um, I didn't bring that here to, uh, to Finland with me, though. Right. So, um, of, of this particular demo that you've got here, uh, is, is this... Ultimately, is this going to remain like a, a demo? Are you going to offer this to uh, providers? Yeah, or? we're actually in, in talks with some, uh, some Tier 1s about doing something similar um, for them. Um, they have some different design goals than has this demo ended up. But one of the problems we have at ICS is we do um, a, lot of, a lot of work on devices for a lot of customers that have you know, very strict NDAs. And they wouldn't allow me to group a presentation on how we built it into uh -huh. the source code for the application so you could do something similar. So uh, part of the idea behind this demo was being able to uh, create something on the side ourselves that we uh, could promote and show off our skills and also provide you information how to do similar things. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I think that uh, just about covers it. Um, thanks, uh, Justin. That's very much appreciated. 
Uh, that's Justin from obviously ICS, and this is Ash from Ego Experts. Thanks. See you in San Francisco.